how accurate is the predicted range of the 64 kilowatt hour Kia Solar? There is only one way to find out, a good old road trip. In this case, a day trip from Malo to Dublin and back again. To make it more interesting, we decided to drive at the speed limit on the motorway on the way up, but restrict our speed to 110 on the motorway on the back home. With the climate controls off, the estimated range is quite impressive, but when we turned them on, our range stopped by more than 20 kilometers. We didn't need climate controls on the way to Dublin and only used them a little bit on the way home. In my opinion, the decision to use climate controls or not isn't really something you have to worry about if you drive an EV with a large battery, such as this one. By the time we joined the M8 motorway at Mitchellstown, we were down to 91% and 389 kilometer range with 208 kilometers to go. After the first 100 kilometers, which consisted of about 60% motorway driving, our consumption was 21.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. At this rate of consumption, our range is about 300 kilometers, so quite a bit lower than the 434 kilometer range we had at 98%. By the time we arrived in Balakola on the M8, we had driven 127 kilometers and our consumption was 21.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. We were down to 61% and an estimated range of 257 kilometers. An Ionic 5 was charging at the high power charge point, but the fast charge point was free, which was perfect because fast charge points are a little bit cheaper. And due to our rather high state of charge, I don't think we would have been able to charge any faster on the high power charge points. When we started charging at 61%, we get 46.5 kilowatts. At 68%, we get 41, and when we stopped at 76%, we only get 23 kilowatts. So above 75%, we would have charged pretty much just as fast on a standard 22 kilowatt charge point. We charged for 25 minutes, which brought us up to 76%. We had booked a lunch in Monkstown in Dublin for 1.30, so we had to get going. My plan for further charging was to stop on the way home at Junction 14 Mayfield on the M7 and or Port Leach Plaza, also on the M7, just to show my wife the charging facilities and see how busy they were. While we were charging in Balakala, another Ionic 5 parked nearby, but didn't seem interested in charging. As we were leaving, a Tesla Model Y seemed interested in our spot but I don't know if they took it or not. The Ionic 5 that was there when we arrived was still charging when we left. I only noticed one Tesla charging at the eight nearby superchargers while we were there. Our destination was set at a friend's house, so we still had to drive a little further once we got there, and we only had 13 minutes to spare. Although based on my experience with the Kia Soul navigation system and others, I expected that we would recoup some of the time by driving at 120 compared to the estimated time of arrival, which we did. We arrived at the restaurant just a couple of minutes late despite a detour into Blackrock due to one-way roads. Our total distance was 250.2 kilometers after three hours of driving and 26 minutes of charging. Our consumption was 20.5 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers which means that the maximum range for this type of driving is about 312 kilometers, which I calculated by dividing 64, which is the available battery capacity, by 20.5 and multiplying the result by 100. We left Dublin with 43% battery and 173 kilometer range. About 50 minutes later, we arrived at junction 14 Mayfield where there are four high power chargers, so eight cars can charge at the same time. Nissan Leaf users should note that only two of the charge points are Chademo. The Kia Soul uses CCS, so we had more options. While we were there, around 6.30 on a Sunday evening, we saw cars coming and going all the time, but nobody had to queue. 
we heard from 39 to 72 percent, which apparently took 45 minutes and 38 seconds. There is an eight euro overstay fee after 45 minutes for fast and high power charge points. And to be honest, we just forgot about the time. Nobody was waiting for us to finish charging. And as far as I can tell from the ESB ECOS account statement, we weren't charged an overstay fee. We arrived home with 21%. So in hindsight, we didn't have to charge for so long. But unfortunately, unlike my Model S, the soul doesn't tell you the state of a charge at your final destination. So we had to make a guess. On our return journey, our consumption was 18.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers at a maximum speed of 110. This is two kilowatt hours less per 100 kilometers than when we drove to Dublin. But this type of driving gives us a maximum range of 364 kilometers. When we drove at a maximum speed of 120 kilometers per hour, our consumption was 20.5 kilowatt per 100 kilometers, which gives us a maximum range of 312 kilometers. So lowering our maximum speed by 10 kilometers per hour increased our estimated range by 52 kilometers. This represents a saving of about three euro and 24 cent or three euro and 41 cent for the five kilowatt hours we saved by driving slower on the motorway on the way home depending on whether you use a fast or a high power charge point. The total cost of public charging was 33 euro and 61 cents. We spent 9 euro 90 at Balakala for 15.31 kilowatt hours and 23 euro and 75 cents at Mayfield for 34.82 kilowatt hours. Recharging the 64 kilowatt hour battery at home will cost 22 euro and 47 cents at 0 0.4444 euro per kilowatt hour. So the total cost of this trip was about 56 euro. I know there are cheaper electricity rates to be had, but in our household, there are four people at, at home most of the time. So a flat rate all the time suits us best at the moment. When we started driving, our estimated range was 434 kilometers which is 70 kilometers more than our estimated range at a maximum speed of 110 kilometers per hour and a whopping 122 kilometers more than our estimated range at a maximum speed of 120. About 80% of our trip was on the motorway, but it's clear that the range estimate is very optimistic for this kind of driving. In future videos, we will test the Kia Soul on a variety of country roads with a maximum speed limit of 100. So please subscribe to see the results. As always, I hope you found this video entertaining and or interesting. Thanks for watching and supporting the Irish EV Owners Association.